Guys, Dr. Lance at Bloomington Wellness Center. We've been talking about lower cross syndrome. Today we're gonna to talk about the core. That's right, we're gonna identify that bulge on the front of our belly. I'm gonna teach you three exercises to now strengthen because we've talked about the tight muscles. We talked about tight erector spinae muscles. We talked about tight hip flexors. Now we're gonna talk about strengthening our weak core. Let's start by, move, uh, we're going to move to our mats and we're going to start with a simple one called a pelvic bridge. Some of us have done this at some point to help our low back a little bit, but it actually helps our low back because we're focusing on our core. What we want to focus on is our back is flat. We're going to activate our core muscles. We're going to activate that stomach. We're going to bring our hands flat, our head flat, so we're relaxing our neck and we're gonna focus on bringing the hip straight up so that we've got a nice flat look. We're gonna bring that down. I prefer not to start with a big hold. I wanna just focus on bringing that up, but really focusing on keeping my core tight and activated and breathing. Breathing is a big part of this. As you're doing those pelvic bridges, we wanna make sure that we're not holding our breath and that we're not tightening up other muscles to accommodate. So we're gonna do about 20 to 25 of these to really start strengthening that core muscle. All right, once we've done those 20 to, 20 to 25, we're gonna move on to our next one for the core. So we're gonna move to something called a dead bug. There's all kinds of different ways that we can do dead bug. I'm gonna to try to keep mine really simple. I will say, ladies, you're gonna have a little easier time with this than the guys. You're gonna to have to actually use your brains a little bit for this one. So we're gonna bring our legs up and our hands up, almost like we're sitting at a table. You're going to bring your arm up, so we're gonna use the right arm. We're gonna bring the right arm and we're gonna drop the left leg. And then we're gonna bring them back up. We're gonna bring the right arm up, I'm sorry, left arm, and then the right leg and we're gonna bring it back out. So we're gonna keep alternating, activating our core and breathing, making sure that we're breathing so that we're still working those muscles so we can strengthen that. So with the dead bug, we're also going to focus on that coordination. And there's different ones we can add to this. If this is too difficult for you, drop the feet down so that the feet are flat on the floor. Arms can still stay here and now instead of bringing them up, we can continue to move. And it just makes it a little bit easier for you. So that's another uh, exercise that we can do to start strengthening that core. Let's move to our last one. We're gonna do a plank. For some of you, a plank might seem scary, might seem very difficult. So there's a couple different ways we can look at this. We can do a modified plank where you're on your knees, you're gonna come down, and you're gonna to go to your elbows and your wrists. And we're gonna to try to flatten things out as best as we can. Again, keeping that core activated, keeping those abdominal muscles activated, and our head down. And we're gonna hold it for 15 to say a minute. Start slow, don't, go, don't get too aggressive. So this is for those of you that maybe don't feel like you can do a full plank. For those of you that are ready to do a plank, we're gonna use our toes and we're gonna come up. And you can see I've got a little shake today. It's been a while since I've done my core workout. But we're gonna hold this for 15, 20, 30, 60 seconds, and then coming back up. Again, looking at that plank, the bridge, and that dug bug to really work those core muscles. So today for lower cross syndrome, we talked about strengthening the core. We've been talking about tight muscles, now we're talking about weak muscles. We wanna strengthen those core muscles. I taught you three exercises you can do, and there's a lot more besides that that we can do. But let's start simple. Start with those three to really focus on that core. So again, if you like that video, click like, send us a message, share something that maybe you like to do, and have a great day.